go. We got this radar right here. Now we did have a little bit, speaking of hurricanes, we did have some wet conditions here in West Texas. There is some rain that's been coming in. It formed out in the Midland Odessa area and has been making its way east as of about two o'clock. You see earlier there were some light, there was some lightning and thunderstorms that were with it, but it's gotten a lot lighter uh, since about that time. You see right now it's mostly rain as it's entering the Abilene area and there's even a little bit that's showing that might be that might be out here in San Angelo. I just checked outside. No, don't see any rain yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I see some in the next couple of minutes or hours. Now current temperatures were in the 70s, fewer, fewer places in the low 60s. It's been a pretty cool day because of the rain and the cloud cover that's been over top of us, really keeping that heat from getting in and holding in the heat that we have. You see it's cooler out here on the west side, 64 in Big Spring, 65 in Garden City in Midland, but a little bit warmer. You see 74 down here in Paint Rock, 74 in Coleman, 75 in Brownwood as well. Now for tonight, we're looking at a low of 62 degrees. It's going to be cloudy and we are going to have the chance for thunderstorms as we get later into the night. I've seen as early as about 10 p.m., but generally it's going to be around midnight. But if you're outside of the football game right now, hopefully you have a rain jacket on you just in case some rain does come through the area. Now for highs tomorrow, it's actually going to be a pretty nice day. We'll climb you back up into the 80s as we get into this weekend. You see we're going to have 82 in Ballinger, 83 up here in Roby, even down to 80 here in El Dorado. So it's still going to be a fairly cool day. Now to give you a daytime planner, it's still going to be chilly in the morning because of all the cloud cover that we've been getting. And we are going to see that possibility for rain chances, but they're going to be dissipating as we get closer to the afternoon. So you see we have some isolated storm chances around 7 a.m. And that's going to be continuing until about noon, where it's going to be partly cloudy, 75 degrees. And by the time we hit 5 o'clock, we're going to hit that high of 82 degrees. It is going to be mostly sunny and those rain chances will be gone for quite a while now. Now I got your weekend here because I know you're worried about it. Saturday, we are going to have the chance for those scattered thunderstorms, but as we get into Sunday, we're finally going to get that opportunity to dry up a little bit. It's going to be a little warmer and it's going to be continuing that way for quite a while. Now I've got your model here to show you guys what this rain is going to be looking like over tomorrow and Saturday. You see right now we have most of the rain chances over here to the southwest, you see around Big Lake, we do have a couple thunderstorms. And as we get through the night, those are going to be continuing to be a bit more widespread. You see they got this line right here that's coming through Abilene and Robert Lee as well, all the way back down to Big Lake. As we get through the rest of the night, you see it kind of spreads out. That's where those thunderstorms are going to be happening the most. You see you have this little development right here, but it is mostly rain, not too much lightning that's going to be coming through the area either. These storms are going to be a lot lighter, so it's not going to be as severe thunderstorms, but you may still see some heavy downpours and some gusty winds as well. You see going through Saturday around noontime, things are starting to move out to the east and they're going to continue dissipating as we get into the evening time. You see we have Saturday at seven o'clock here. The closer we get to that night time, the more they are going to be clearing out and so that we can have a clear rest of the weekend and even a clear start to next week. You see by midnight on Sunday, we've got mostly clear skies, just a little bit of cloud cover and rain to the north and south. Now for your seven day here, we're going to sum it all up. You see we got that 50% chance of storms on Saturday, but after we get through Saturday and really Saturday afternoon, it's going to be clear weather, mostly sunny skies and high temperatures in the mid 80s. You see same thing for Abilene. It's actually going to be slightly smaller chances in Abilene because the storms are going to be exiting to the southeast. So they're going to be at last probably in the junction area at the latest, but we're going to have those sunny skies for all of next week. Now over to you, Adriana.